This has been the undertaking. This has been the endeavor of literally so many people in research and software and architecture and hardware. Everybody's working together to make this possible. Now here, what he's going to show us now are some of the special effects that you can imagine that you can do if you have ray tracing. We've been working with Epic Games and ILM X Labs on a special project and are showing a prototype of RTX integrated into Unreal Engine 4 through Microsoft's DXR. In this case, we're showing uh, area light shadows, which are quite important for cinematic visual effects. Uh, the tricky part is to get the uh, contact hardening or the sharpening of the shadow uh, near the base of the stormtroopers where they touch the ground. Uh, it helps, it's an important visual cue that helps uh, us understand that those uh, people are standing on the ground. And then, uh, we can also see them in a more complicated environment. Now Steve, the, the thing is to, to say is when you say area lights, area lights is where light is being emitted from an area instead of a spot. Spotlights are relatively easy to do. Area lights are really hard to do. And the reason for that is it's essentially a whole bunch of spotlights. And so the way that the shadow, the way that reflection works and the way that shadow works, shadows are so soft. And notice that there's so many different, different um, uh, essentially the accumulation of a whole lot of shadows. And that's why they're so soft shadows. Exactly. And in some cinematics, it's important to uh, control the shape and, and scale of the light so that you can control the shadows so that they fall where they where the producer would like them to fall. That's incredible. Well, let's let's take a look at another scene. Let's see so this is, this is shadows and lighting. Now this is reflection. So another thing that ray tracing is really good at is reflections. Uh, we can see them here uh, in an environment uh, such as the elevator that we saw in that clip. You can see the reflections on the, on the stormtroopers, uh, as well as them reflecting each other. But to really show them off, we need to bring in something even more shiny. Hmm. And uh, so now look at this. This is reflections on reflections. Uh, check out Captain Phasma's gun reflecting on, on uh, Phasma's chest right there. You see that? Reflections of reflections. So all those things have to be shaded multiple times, shading the primary surfaces as well as the reflections. And that's what, one of the things that makes it really difficult. And, and these rays are bouncing all over this environment. These rays, every single one of those rays are bouncing off the environment. And every time it strikes a surface, it has to figure out, do I reflect? Do I refract? Do, am I absorbed? And how much is it absorbed? Where does other rays come from that I need to accumulate? And then it bounces off, and it goes to another place, and it strikes another surface. And then it strikes all these different surfaces. This light is bouncing all over the place as it strikes these surfaces. Figures out what the rendering equation is at that moment as it strikes that surface. Accumulates it for the entire scene with all of these billions and billions of rays. This is how this is recreated. Now, of course, doing so would just take an enormous number of computers. And that's why film studios have supercomputers. That's why Pixar has supercomputers. That's why Industrial Light Magic has supercomputers. And they use these supercomputers to calculate these rays one at a time as it bounces and strikes these surfaces and creates this image. And the more reflections, the more refractions, the more ways that the light, the ray, can bounce before it's absorbed completely the more reflections and refractions, the harder it is. There are so many little visual cues. Stephen Parker, NVIDIA ray tracing team. What an amazing achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, everything that you're seeing here is completely in real time. Now, this complete demo, yep, there you go. It's completely in real time, and it's running on one, one DGX station. Instead of a supercomputer rendering these scenes one frame every 10 hours, this is now running on one DGX computer with four Voltas in real time. This is what we can do now. $68,000 computer versus a supercomputer. 
That's great, thank you guys. So ladies and gentlemen, we're announcing the NVIDIA RTX technology. This has been 10 years in the making. You have seen us demonstrate pieces of it over, the over time. But today, this is a very, very big deal. This is a very big deal because for the very first time, for the very first time, and, and by the way, I want to thank, I want to thank the team at LMX Labs and uh, Epic uh, and all of, all of the engineers at NVIDIA that worked on this. Uh, this piece of work, this piece of work, the Star Wars rendering in real time, is really one of the, one of the first times that ray tracing has ever been done. At, well, it is the first time that ray tracing has been done at this level in real time. So thank you very much, guys. Super proud of you guys. After 10 years, after 10 years, what makes this special, what makes this special, is for the very first time, we can bring real-time ray tracing to the market. People can actually use it.